A couple of days ago, the ancient city of Ibadan was up in flames as an inter-ethnic crisis through a trading location in the state called Sasha in chaos. The immediate cause of this crisis is still sounding confusing as no party has come up with the factual cause of this crisis. Houses were burnt, cars destroyed and properties worth millions of naira also destroyed. There has also been a report of loss of lives but that has not been confirmed directly. The remote cause of this crisis all started with the accusation of the high-handedness of some Fulani S-men in the region who have made it a point of duty to harass and maim villagers and farmers in the region. As the Yoruba activist Sunday Bowo took, to, took, took it upon himself to issue an immediate explosion of the Fulani headers in the region. The aftermath of that pronouncement has caused uh, tribal, tribal issues within the different ethnic groups to snowball into an uncontrollable crisis. With this development in Sasha, which was formerly a well-known northern abode in the southwest city of Oyo, almost all the northerners have fled the city to avoid further clash and destruction. Hmm. As seen on Twitter this afternoon, a northern man has shared the list of over 100 northerners who have indicated interest to return back home. This has further shown the devastating level of crisis that has engulfed the region. The list, according to the man, is for them to coordinate logistics and transportation to some of the indigent ones who don't have any means of sending themselves home. He further announced that they were sending 107 people to Kano, Kano State from Sabo, Ibadan, and another 47 people to Sokoto. For the list, the cost was the sum of 6,500 naira per head and he further solicited for funds to enable them to finish the payment. This is really sad, a sad one in a democratic country like Nigeria where citizens have to flee like refugees. Earlier, a northerner woman had narrated how her house was burnt down. Meanwhile, the house belonged to a Yoruba man while she is a northerner. Violence will take us nowhere. Each of these 140, 154 people must have lost property one way or the other and it is not a good testament for the country at this time. Hmm. Well, <laughs> this is not the first time this whole thing is, uh, is starting. And uh, meanwhile, a lot of uh, things that uh, the people who are all, who always love to have power, but once they are given the power, they don't know what to do with the power. A lot of things are degenerated to all these things that we are experiencing today. It didn't just start uh, like that, but uh, bringing uh, Sunday Google to this uh, whole thing is a different thing altogether. So if anything happens in the north uh, or happens in another region now, uh, so it's as a result of uh, Sunday Google and. From all indications, a lot of things have been going on in that particular market. Like we've been saying, if things are not being dealt with properly, it just takes a, a little spark that will just make all of those things who are, that have been bought within to just spring up. Well, hello, does that money buy those innocent people which those uh, uh, Fulani have killed to your 10th old Fulanis? Ask him more. It's very unfortunate that things degenerated into this level. <clears throat> the problem wouldn't have been up to this if not because the criminals that are from the north have been treated as if they were above the law. They also parade themselves as such. When their hosts now have the opportunity to vent their anger, they seize it. Government is not supposed to support any criminal from whatever tribe. The number is very few. Before the end before the end of this week, the number should rise to thousands. We are fed up with them. Hmm. Who is the cause? In a civilized society, how can one stab his neighbor over uh, drivers, uh, drivers? Yoruba culture does not permit going about with arms. We are by nature friendly and accommodating. What is playing 
role here is acculturation uh, which has display itself in culture shock okay acculturation another houses should adapt to the culture they meet here on arrival yorubas will also do so up not provided they want to make the place they are bold uh, Buari is the commander of terrorist groups in Nigeria today and we pay for some of his sins by the grace of God. I, I think uh, there was a time, I remember they said there was a time Buari went to or your when such, such thing really happened. And just like I said, and I don't think uh, Igbo matter was even the case then. Uh, Igbo, Igbo had come out, Sunday Igbo had come out. But if Buari could go as at that time, when they said he went to go and, you know, uh, uh, make peace, or to go and one, I don't know who he went to one, but when such incident happened before night had happened, Buari was there. But so, what is not the problem now that he cannot even go there? He can't even go anywhere. He cannot even speak. He can't even say anything. So, what is the problem? That is the question we are asking. Let Yorubas living in the north start packing too, because revenge is sweet. Let them to test how it feels. They will not come back again by fire. Unless the three ethnic regions stand as a nation, there is no remedies. Fulani, go to your north and graze on your farmlands and see how it will be. Maybe you will see tomatoes and onions to bring to south. The solution, the only solution by now, let all, all houses come down to north until these animals realize their mistakes. When did... Um, do not have a full animal when they do not have a full animal at the hands of affairs we live peacefully with each other oh lord let an end come to everyone or group of people drumming discord in this nation via ethnicity and religion you still have many more need to evacuate to the north or niger republic as soon as possible our northern brothers have many brothers in chad niger republic mali that are violent in nature and they have moved far in Thailand. So here with okay, uh, what kind of nonsense uh, this is share or divide this country? They will come back. It's question of time. All of them will return to their place, business, place of businesses. I will only ask them to have the mind of accommodating one another. That is how they made Igbo those who barely escaped death flee from the north with nothing more than two times i guess god has a way of paying people back in their own coin no one ever asks why they do that to the egos no one questioned the not karma <laughs> different people with different opinions some people want to say some things to you know to favor them why other people will try to expose it so that it will favor them so let's hear your opinion concerning all this list being uh Put together for those who want to go back to the north.